Swerve. Swerve Strickland, also known as Shay Swerve Strickland, also known as Swerve in, in his run in NXT and whatnot, it is all elite. He signed a contract with AW after the events of AW Revolution. And during the show, he announced he was joining AEW. This was heavily reported that a lot of companies were interested in signing Sh Sh Swerve. And I always kept saying, like, I have, like, I never watched his stuff with Hit Row. I was no longer interested in NXT at that point because it was becoming more and more Vince ish. And I just wasn't feeling it anymore. For a lot of parts like i would still watch some occasional bits but it ultimately felt like the identity was completely changing to a point that i wasn't gonna like it then shane then swerve got released and hijinks ensued just a month after his debut on smackdown because WWE management is a bunch of morons and budget cuts are the priority of the great nick pond so yeah, he was off the market for about three months due to his no compete clause, which should be an option at this point, in my opinion, with how out of control these budget cuts have gotten. So it was announced that by FIFO that he was gonna join AEW, Swerve spoiled it, said, Yeah, I'm coming. And I'm like, there's no point in denying it unless we're doing the CM Punk scandal. I'm like a big, but I'm not that big yet. Uh yeah, I had a big swell offer to her congratulations. Kind of amazing considering all the circumstances surrounding her and her AEW relationship and Tony Khan and the fact that she almost ruined Jay Cargill's momentum by spoiling the tournament right before it started. Yeah, that, that was a bad day. But anyways, so at least she's all right with them hiring talent, hiring people and not being mad about it. As far as I'm aware of, she could be deception or Tony Khan could be decepting people. But yeah, swerve, 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 swerve. I thought for sure he would try and say like, if I'm joining, Hit Row's got to join in on the fun. Uh, I don't know if they're going to fully commit to that considering how one of their members is... Uh, kind of not liked by to by the young bucks and tries to act like he's the young bucks on their bios but never got to get us over and instead got bashed by the community for various reasons beyond him trying to act like he's bigger than that he was the be all end all of wrestling even though he wasn't at that level yet and Vince apparently thought he was going to be the rising star even though they're swerve and people and I and I, to this day I said this a few years back that I wanted Swerve to be in the NXT War Games match that Kevin Owens took the spot of because Swerve was really that hot at the time and I had seen some of his matches and I was like, man, I, I, I want to see him in War Games. War Games! Uh, it's nice to see how much things have changed, sadly. So... His debut match would be against the Ubs of Tony Nese. Yeah, you forgot he was signed to AWT Awards, yeah. Like, he, he showed up on Dark a few times, was in the crowd, had a match, then disappeared for a little bit. Yeah, I, I get the whole comment, AEW has a bloated roster, and WWE had been criticized for the bloated roster, I understand that. But at least one is not budget cutting everybody and letting their contracts expire with 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 decisions and executive mindsets instead of, of okay let's buy everybody keep them and then budget cut people out of bs reasoning and not give them an actual reason and not represent the change of philosophy that we're doing but not publicly be transparent about it and make it unpredictable to the point that everyone starts to have anxiety attacks Whereas AEW is like, we're letting people's contracts expire. I'm like, we could just pull the BS narrative of budget cutting people, but we're not complete assholes. But yeah, Swerve signed it to AEW and would battle the, the abs of Tony Nese in Abulation Match. Abulation Match, yeah, that's about it. And 
this is a match I could see it happen when Triple H was running 205 Live during the Buddy Murphy Mustafa Ali match days. Oh, those were good times. Shame that I had to come out of something horrible to happen for that to actually be a thing. Anyways, so yeah, this match was not this like it's a great solid debut for Swerve. Swerve, Swerve, Swerve. And Tony Nice is given a main event matchup and he gets to be told you're gonna make Swerve look good. Because that, that's the match, that's what the match was. It's a match designed to make Swerve come out impressive. And he has an awesome music. He he apparently made it himself with some pelt. So props to that, he has his own theme song, so he can take it anywhere. And he's even battled Jay Whitehall in, in New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong. I'll talk about that when I can, when I watch that match. But yeah, Tony Nese's status in AEW is just so far put, put on quality matches, go all out with your status, no pun intended, and show the world why you're the abs, the abs, the abs. Yeah, that, that, remember how that was his gimmick in in, in in WWE? Just he has abs. I'm like, I'm kind of amazed they never thought about doing that with Roman, considering how much they like to brag how he is god of wrestling. But yeah, swerve, swerve, let us swerve, let us swerve, let us swerve. He could be a big deal for AEW. He could be a hopefully long-term investment. I could see him becoming TNT champion either later this year or early next year. I could see that totally happening. World Championship, that's, we still have to get MJF, and then after that we could go hijinks and suit after that. <laughs> I still think that's going to be the plan. I'm like, we could go with Eddie Kingston after MJF, but then after that we, we, then we need to no longer have the big plan for that and now start pushing other talent instead of having the inceptional plans be final be finished and i would like to see swerve swerve go ahead and hold a big gold belt over his shoulder he looks like the kind of guy that would look awesome with it <laughs> like he was north american champion for a time yeah i forgot about that huh those glory days of gold and black. <laughs> so anyways, uh, it, it's funny to see how much so much has changed in the wrestling landscape with NXT 205 Live known talent being in AEW now and now has and now they're doing more outside of the WWE banner. They can be go anywhere they want. They can, and they have the financial security of AEW on their side. At least until AEW says we're we could be that we're letting your contract expire. We could do the option to renew, but whatever on that. So Swerve, Swerve, I'm hoping gets a big deal out of this. Like they like people have been hyping him up like he's gonna be a big deal. And I'm hoping we get that same case with him and his push. I don't know what faction he's going to be in because everybody in AW has to be in a tag team or a faction. It's kind of impossible. That's the AEW system. Faction warfare, essentially. And Hit Row would fit in that faction gang warfare. <laughs> and... I, I, I'm hoping we get some new, some big matches with Swerve sort of down the road. John Moxley, Brian Nelson, or Tentacle Violence Personified. I'm still calling it that, regardless of whatever they call it down the road. Come on, come on, it's right there. TVP, come on, do it, do it, do it. And this is a good match. A what you would see on 205 Live during its peak when Triple H was running the show and, you know, actually giving two cares about it. 
And this is the type of quality you would get out of that. If they went a little bit longer, it probably would have been a, a huge deal and one of the big ma best matches of AEW Rampage. But sadly not, and the taping environment does hurt it greatly because it should be live. Like, I know people are going to say, well, they can't be live, they're a one-hour show, and that wouldn't really justify it unless you did something really big, like CM Punk's debut, or you expand it to two hours. Okay, here's my, uh, here's my idea when it comes to the situation with Rampage. Put the first hour on YouTube. And then put the second hour on TV. Like they did with the buy-in system. The crowd gets a two-hour show. We get our, They get to keep their one-hour deal on TNT. I'd say we got that good. We got that covered. And especially if we're going to get more of Minoru Suzuki's Brian Danielson matches. But God, I gotta talk about that. I completely forgot to make that video. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it's it, it's fun wrestling it's what you would it want from these two talented guys and Tony Nese being the guy to introduce him to the AEW world it is a good start for Swerve and I'm hoping for more from him and I'm looking forward to what he brings into the AEW locker room and the AEW product we got some more swerve. Or he'll pull a fast one on everybody and be revealed that he is VM Hung. Nah, that's nah, that's just stupid. Uh he would never debut. But now that I think about it, he this has been going on since October, and Swerve's been gone for three months after he was fired. Is it sad that Veer is more hyped up to never show up? Whereas the wrestlers who've been fired have all been out of their 90 day no compete clauses by now. Wow, that, wow, that, that's that's absolutely depressing. Like he's longer, he's been he's been coming to Raw since longer than Emelina was, and we all know how that turned out. Oh, man. Maybe he'll pull a fast swerve and come in goodbye then fightful announces that he's been released because dojo you're assholes oh man so yeah um this is a question i want to ask do you see swerve coming in and becoming tnt champion late this year or early next year oh and by the way get me keith lee and him do it damn it uh fun fun times Hit it like a swerve, 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 swerve. Hit it like a swerve, it's a swerve, swerve, swerve. I know I'm not saying the lyrics of the song. I'm just saying it because swerve is just a, just just good at just saying that for some reason. Uh. Swerve, Tony Nese, congratulations on your big matchup, uh, main event, main event debut match. Prop, props, props, best way to make debut. Ooh, your big signing. I'm like, you could make it bigger if you went to Dynamite and main event it, which would have been a big deal if that was the case. But as a Rampage, and say you're debuting on your in the main event of Rampage, regardless of the circumstances, that's a that's a sign that we're gonna have confidence in you. Let's hope this all. Let's hope those confidence are kept in those, and we don't have it disappear for a little bit or go fight QT Marshall. Though QT Marshall seems to be the doormat for every wrestler that comes in nowadays. Factory should revolt. So anyways, that was enough of Neo Reality Entertainment The Wrestleverse presenting Swerve, Swerve, Swerve to Swerve, this is Swerve, this is Swerve. Strickland versus Tony Nese on AEW Rampage. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, check out my other content in the description below. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you all next time. Pizza, take care. Have a good night, everybody, and stay tuned.